Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Success and Luck, a creation by Robert H. Frank. Success and Luck, 2016, takes a unique perspective on the impact of chance on our economy. It suggests that luck plays a significant role in success, which we often underestimate, hindering our ability to prosper. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Robert Frank, a distinguished economist, holds the Goldwyn Smith Professorship in Economics at Cornell University. He is a frequent contributor to the New York Times with his column Economic View and has written several books such as The Economic Naturalist, The Winner-Take-All Society and Under the Influence. With seven key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, the text discusses taking a fresh perspective on economic well-being and personal gain. The text explores the concept that the role of luck in success may be underestimated. It discusses how luck, in addition to talent and hard work, may play a significant role in shaping success in the economy. Key points include the impact of luck on success, the story of an engineer's downfall due to ambition and changes in manufacturing practices. Key idea number one. The text suggests that luck plays a significant role in economic success, which is often underestimated or not fully acknowledged. Luck plays a significant role in economic success, shaping outcomes more than often acknowledged. While meritocracy suggests success is due to hard work and talent, luck is a crucial factor that influences economic achievement. Factors like circumstances at birth, opportunities, and natural talent all significantly impact one's trajectory in life and economic success. The narrative challenges the belief that success is solely a product of merit, highlighting the impact of luck in shaping economic disparities and calling for a re-evaluation of societal beliefs to prevent the concentration of rewards among a fortunate few. Key idea number two, success in one's career can often be influenced by a sequence of fortunate opportunities. In an experiment by sociologist Paul Lazarsfeld, people easily believed a false narrative about soldiers adjusting to military life due to hindsight bias. The text's key message is that chance plays a significant role in personal success, showing that lucky breaks, not just talent, contribute to career success. Factors like fortunate circumstances in schooling or birth month distribution among successful CEOs highlight the impact of luck alongside hard work and persistence in achieving success. Key idea number three. Luck can snowball into a significant advantage over time. In a winner-takes-all economy, luck can give a slight edge that compounds into a major advantage, leading to some companies dominating while others go bankrupt. An individual's income is not solely determined by their skills and abilities, but also by factors like technology and market expansion. Success often involves a mix of talent and chance, with luck playing a significant role in standing out amongst intense competition. Key idea number four, recognizing instances of luck is challenging for individuals. People tend to overrate their abilities, downplay the role of luck in success, and have a bias towards emphasizing factors within their control. The availability heuristic causes individuals to remember difficult moments more vividly, influencing their perception of success. Acknowledging luck is important to avoid unfair confidence and lack of empathy. Key idea number five, importance of sharing the benefits of good luck to maintain a lucky society. Berkaman Rai faces limited financial opportunities in Nepal due to his circumstances of birth. Societal luck, influenced by birthplace, impacts economic prosperity. The US historically offered advantages like infrastructure and education, but is now neglecting these vital aspects, partly due to tax policies favoring the wealthy. The notion of spreading benefits through taxes is resisted by some affluent individuals who attribute success solely to personal effort, 
overlooking external factors of luck and public good's role in prosperity. Shifting perceptions to acknowledge luck's influence could make the concept of taxing the wealthy for the collective good more acceptable. Key idea number six, consumption tax helps control spending and generates revenue for public goods. Wedding costs vary widely based on location and context, with average American weddings ranging from $11,000 in 1980 to $30,000 in 2014. Spending excessively on weddings doesn't necessarily make them more meaningful. A consumption tax could moderate spending and fund collective goods, tackling society's focus on personal consumption over common investments. Economically, there are trade-offs when spending. A progressive consumption tax could help curb excess consumption, increase tax revenue, and fund public resources like infrastructure, healthcare, and education. Key idea number seven, humility and collaboration are essential for success. Scott Forstall, former Apple executive, created iOS, but was fired due to arrogance and self-interest. Collaboration and humility are crucial for success. Homo economicus, makes rational choices for self-gain but successful individuals recognize others' contributions. An experiment showed that acknowledging luck and teamwork enhances likability and trustworthiness. Humility and celebrating others' contributions are key to achieving success. In conclusion, successful people often attribute their achievements to hard work and dedication, but luck plays a significant role in their success. Factors like birthplace, connections, and unexpected opportunities contribute to success. Acknowledging this luck can lead to creating policies that increase opportunities for all, promoting a fairer and more successful society. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.